Stepping onto the soil of his own country must be a very special thrill for Professor Frederick Z. Barghorn, arriving at New York's Idlewild Airport after a flight home from the Soviet Union via London. The 52-year-old Yale University professor of political science, a prime mover in the cultural exchange program, was arrested while walking on a Moscow street and imprisoned for 16 days on espionage charges. In releasing the professor, the Soviet Union cited President Kennedy's personal concern. The latter was very evident at Mr. Kennedy's news conference two days before. He was not on an intelligence mission of any kind. He's a distinguished professor of Soviet affairs. He's played a most helpful and constructive role in arranging cultural exchanges, scientific exchanges. His arrest is unjustified. I repeat again, he was not on an intelligence mission of any kind. I'm hopeful that this will become quickly obvious to the Soviet Union and that they will release him. And so the Yale campus now welcomes the return of Dr. Barghorn, and he is shown at a news conference where he says that certain details of his imprisonment as a spy cannot be discussed until he meets with officials in Washington. The newsmen later hear from his mother that he lost weight on Russian prison food, and while in captivity in Moscow was treated like a jailbird.